Lori Vallow Daybell now on her way out of the Idaho State Hospital and back to the Madison County Jail, finally competent now to stand trial for her role in the murder of her two children, JJ and Tylee. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herberts, he's been right on the front lines of this story since the very beginning. He now takes a look at what this latest development means for the case. The family tells us as emotionally frustrating as this case has been since December 2019, these four faces, the victims are what keeps them going. JJ Vallow, Tylee Ryan, Tammy Daybell, and Charles Vallow. Prosecutors say now that Lori is competent to stand trial, she will be charged with conspiracy to commit murder in all four of these cases. It has been nearly two years since investigators found the bodies of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan buried in Chad Daybell's backyard in Salem, Idaho. The kid's mother, Lori Vallow, married Chad in Hawaii around the same time her children went missing. Since June 2021, she's been at the Idaho State Hospital because the state found her incompetent to stand trial. I think that Lori has played her, her games and to where now she can't play them anymore. Each step of the way, JJ's grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock, have been in the courtroom. They don't plan to stop, especially with the couple scheduled for trial in January. We will be there. We'll be there. And, we'll be sitting, and I'll be sitting as close behind her as I can get because she's going to look at me this time. I want her to feel me breathing behind her. Do you think it affects her? Not really. I think she just... If, if it hasn't affected her at this point that she murdered her two children, it's not going to affect her that Kay and I are sitting behind her. Most Idahoans are going to feel relieved that now there can actually be pursuit of justice in this case. Luke Malik is a former Idaho prosecutor not affiliated with this case. He says it is still entirely possible for the trial to be delayed especially depending on whether Lori's mental state gets worse or continues to improve. There's always a chance when somebody's found not competent to stand trial that that may be a state that persists their entire lifetime. My grandson is in a freezer vault and, and, and entirely, that's what I mean. But we want some closure. Lori's next court date is scheduled for next Tuesday, April 19th. The state plans to try the case against both suspects at the same time in Ada County. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.